Neil Barrett told me he's won Bridgewater Carnival Marketeers. Tony Cushions won Bridgewater Carnival Marketeers. Mike Butt has, Mark Mason has. So what, there's five people in this room that have won Bridgewater Carnival for Marketeers. 32 years, most of you weren't even born then. It's about us now, it's about you guys in here. We've got a fantastic Carnival cart. It's the best we've ever built, as I said. We've got a fantastic chance to make history. It's all working, it's all lit. We've built one of the greatest carts this town will ever see. Now, regardless if that comes first or last, you all deserve a massive pat on the back because you're a credit to this organisation. And I'm proud to, to say I'm your friend in, in the captain. It's your one night of the year. This is it. This will live with you for the rest of your life. So go out there, give it your best and come back here knowing you've done everything you can, so we go and pick up that Kirk Cup in December. You're the Mark Tears Carmel Cup, and why are we pirates? Yeah. Fingers out, down in one. So yeah, we came second. Second for the last five, six years. We've come second more than any club in history if you look at the results um, sheet. So looking forward to, to toasting victory, but once again, not to be. Why did the Gremlins win last year? Um, same reason they win most years, to be honest with you. They're, they're very, very good. They're a, they're a carnival cart building machine. They can out-engineer most clubs. They, they're, they're very clever with their movement. They're very clever with their lighting and how it's painted. Um, you know, they've done a lot of ideas that people wouldn't even have looked at and, and would have you know, shirked away from. And it's obviously what the judges want and what the judges enjoy. So that's why Gremlins win last year and, and most years, to be honest. They're just very, very good. To win Bridgewater Carnival for, for me and, and for any marketeer would be be one of the greatest achievements in your life. You know, we've been trying since 1985 and failing every time. Good evening. Welcome to Bridgewater Carnival, the most fantastic show on earth. Hello, my name's Malcolm Jones. It may look like any other pub to you, but this is Bridgewater, and this is the home of Carnival. In various pubs around the town, the important business of planning the floats and early preparation take place in great secrecy. And all roads lead not to a gypsy camp, as you may think at first sight, but to these strange canvas-covered hives of activity. All around Bridgewater, these canvas tabernacles spring up. Here we are, this is the home of the Ramblers. This will give you some idea just how long and hard it is to build a carnival float for the Bridgewater Carnival. It's November the 7th, and this is Bridgewater, and it's carnival night. What do you think of the carnival? Oh, it's lovely, it's really. You, you really like yes, it, or you yes, wouldn't I come do. back? Which carnival club do you support? Any? No. Yeah. Which one? Citroens. <laughs> Normally, people in Bridgewater have allegiance to one club, don't they? That, oh, and yeah. they stay with that right, club yeah. forever. Yeah. Ramblers? Yeah. yeah. They're going to win, are they? Yeah. They're going to beat marketeers who always win. Over the years, there's been one club, the past few years, that's dominated the Somerset carnival scene, and this is it. If I say the name, Marketeers. Oh, they're happy. <laughs> the last time Marketeers won, was 1985 with Clowning Around. I'd just turned six years old. So I've never won Bridgewater Carnival.
being an industrial town with you know, a big factory heritage, you went to school, you worked, you worked in the fa local factory, and then you retired when you got a gold watch. And that was the career path that I knew through my dad and my dad's brothers and you know, my mum's brothers. Uh, during college, I got a job at the old Gerber and I haven't left that job since. I've just worked my way up through. I started on the production line. You know, I didn't dream of working in a juice factory, but I've worked my way up and I've made the most of what I can. So I would have been 18 when I met Alan. I think he joined the club in 98. You know, at times we were inseparable, really. I adore the man, one of my best friends in the whole world. I would do anything for him. You know, he's almost, I'd probably say he's more like a brother to me than a, you know, than a friend. Matt was, was not, he was always like a cool bloke, do you know what I mean? Like, even when we were, we were kids, he was always, you know, he was good at sport, he was good looking. I'm a really competitive person. In everything I do, I'm competitive. You know, we wanted to be the, we wanted to be the, the, the boys around town on the carnival front. Unfortunately for us, the Gremlins were just that much better. So they won in 1991 with Starfighters. They won again in 1992, again in 93, and again in 94. They won in 1995 with Pirates, in 1996 with Robot Attack. They won in 98 and in 99. 2000 they won. They won again in 2001. In 2002, the Ramblers won with Invasion Force. In 2003, we thought we cracked it. Here we are, the Marketeers Carnival Club from Bridgewater. I don't think we knew what we had, if you know what I mean, until we all got on it and the music started. The only way, the only way I can describe it is how probably a rock artist feels at a concert. When he's singing his song and he just sees everyone clapping along to it the whole way round was surreal because everyone was just joining in all the way round. But when you got to the high street, you just seen that line of thousands of thousands of people and everyone was doing your, like I said, the Queen clap. That is the, the most surreal thing I've ever experienced on a carnival cart. I don't think I've ever experienced anything like that since. Still makes you like, I still can't really believe it. If you could bottle that feeling that you had, when watching all those people react to the entry, you'd make it make billions. In 1960, I've not won Bridgewater for 15 years, hoping for something special this year. People like were celebrating the fact that we we had won Bridgewater Carnival as we were going around the route, and you think, well, they can't all be wrong. We can win Bridgewater Carnival. But that night, it's the first time we've ever gone back to our home base, and the whole pub's gone, we've well, absolutely walked it. You've walked this carnival tonight, it's no doubt. There's no doubt you're winning the carnival tonight. You know, all these people, as far as I can see, are responding to your, your cut. So I, I can remember being outside Town Hall, and you know, Chris Hocking goes in then third place with Joseph Gremlins, and everyone, ooh. Yeah. And then you start thinking, well, you know, 100,000 people can't be wrong, we've got this, so you're all, holding hands, ready to celebrate, and you're, you're ready for that moment. And in second place with, and all you need to hear is the first syllable, um, raw, that's all we heard. And then you hear, so like rock, and as you hear the raw, Ramblers start celebrating. Ramblers have won Bridgewater Carnival. Um, and, you know, we, we were gutted. We, we finally beaten Gremlins, um, and somebody else had beaten us. And to this date, do I think that we should have won it? Yes, I do. Yeah, it was there. We had it there. Ramblers won it with some horror cart. From there, I think that a lot of people thought, we're never going to win this again. And then in 2004, they won with Rio. 2005, they won with Mickey's Parade. 2006, they won with Go Shit. 2007, 2008, they won with Nemesis. 2009, 2010. 2011, they won with Jungle Drums. 2012, and then they lost to Ramblers. And then they won again in 2014 and in 2015. 
in 2016, one with Run to the Hills in 2017. Right, Alan, we're all back to you, mate, whenever you're ready. We make it as Puppets came third, Mardi Gras second, and Dickens, according to our maths here, is a clear winner. We think that it's wise that we contact the Carnival Committee now and try and submit that idea, so then we can, we can move forwards on both stage and road. So we're at um, Bristol Road in Bridgewater, where we construct our carnival cart. Over here, we got we got various other clubs. We've got Marina Sydenham, Centurions, um, Crusaders, Renegades, Lime Kiln. Um, around the corner, the, the big one, um, similar size to ours. We have Gremlin's shed the, over there in the big green shed over there. That's who we aim to one day beat eventually. You can say a person is your, 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 a mate, but I think if you come down here and you build with them, some of the things you go through down here, you, it's, it's invaluable. You, you couldn't put a price on it. That's going to be a, an iron bridge. And the second section is going to be a bakery or an inn. The Dickensian scene will start on the back post, and it will open out rather like a pop-up book. That's where the St Paul's Cathedral dome is going to be mounted. That is the, uh, the question everyone wants to know. Really. Gremlins usually. Yeah. yeah, they're looking for a club that begins with G and ends in S. <laughs> Why do they win every year? Because they're better than everyone else. And what would it mean to you? Me, personally. You won this year. If I ever won. Bridgewater Carnival, it would probably be one of the best days of my life, I expect. I'm trying for too long now. There's a lot of politics between me and Matt. When you're in Carnival, you've got a family and you've got to work. And a few years ago, I, I took, a, took a lot on board. And things weren't going as I thought they would pan out through the year and had a conversation over a phone call with him. I was actually on holiday at the time on a beach. And he'd rang me up and basically said, stick it up your ass or something like that. For no, for no reason, just out, out of the blue, um, blah, blah, blah. I thought nothing to do with it, etc., etc. So I came back, refreshed from holiday, caught up of me work. At the end of the day, what you can remember is, Carnival doesn't put food on your table for your kids. That's something you have to earn. You have to go out and get it. Marketeers, no Carnival club will put it on the table. The club was very much stuck in a rut. We weren't necessarily getting the results that we wanted. Um, and I believed that bringing female members into the club and bringing a more family oriented feel to the club would, would help us. Alan had other views on that. For the first two or three years of thinking about it, I couldn't, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Um, he always tells me that when he read out my resignation letter, he did it in tears. You know, it left a big hole in our club and it also strengthened our, our, one of our biggest rivals. He turned his back on his mates as far as I'm concerned because he would have loved to have won with this club because he is just as passionate as what I am about it. But he went over there and won with them, not with his mates. A lot of the club probably seen it as a a move for silverware rather than anything else, and uh, wasn't the case. I would take ten of their wins with them for one win with marketeers. I think the word Judas was even used. <laughs> would the same backlash have happened if I'd gone and joined Ramblers or someone like that? I don't think so. I just think it was the fact that it was Gremlins that I joined. The people that I would hang around with and spend a lot of my time with, it just stopped. It was just, it was just cut off. Do you know what I mean? We see each other f three, four times a week. Now, yeah, we've both got different goals, haven't we? My goal is 
for Gremlins to win and his goal is for Marketeers to win. will sit there and they will spend. I went to that one of their rehearsals and I was like, oh. But they will repeat it six mm. times and they were moaned on that stage. Our boys would be moaning and yeah. puffing and... But well, that's what we've got. One, two, three, four. <laughs> you stop here in line with the table and then you turn, all right? You're going to be here. Jack, you're going to end up next to him. Three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Down, 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 down. You need the ends on the end. One, two. You don't have to sit around complaining about the way your life has wound up. It's really di not difficult to sing those words. Please open your mouth. Some of you aren't even attempting to sing. You have to sing and we have to dance. It's not difficult. Well, you've all done it before. Please, can we try tonight just so that we know that those three songs are finished? We were talking fundraising. Obviously, there's no Glastonbury Festival this year, unfortunately. So we are, give or take, £10,000 light. But if anybody can think of any other ways to raise money, They'd be much appreciated. But can you make a better car with less money? We've done it in the past. We've, we've done it, you know, at, at, and we're not the only club without Glastonbury. All, all clubs are in the same situation as us, so. It's, it's always the engineering which costs the money, which hence why we've decided to keep the bulk of the engineering from previous years. Use what we've got add to what we've got. We have six weeks on Sunday to go. They're like kids every now and then. There's like, you know, there's like 40 men, so you have to sort of say, OK. We'll be fine. We'll be cutting it fine this year, I think. Let's try it again! These are going to be um, chimney stacks. So these are going to run across the full width of the stage. You know, that, that clock is ticking down quite rapidly now. These need perspex and windows and that, putting them in at the moment. Chimney stacks up there, what they've been painting, that goes behind it, which they want to pump smoke through. They're going to put like a fire effect in there to give it like a glowing oven. You know, people are already talking about next year's idea. And uh, sometimes when that happens, you know they're not, they're not buying into this one. The theme for the idea is not one of the easiest I've ever done, to be fair. The whole year has been flat. There hasn't been that upbeat about it, like that spark. I don't know why. Do we think we've got a chance? We always think that, I guess. But the machine across the road will probably, uh, probably stop us again. You drove past the shed the other day. Yeah. What happened? Marketers had the doors open. If someone wants to leave their door open, I'm going to have a good look. They've got a lot of work to do. 
It did look like they'd actually left quite a lot of last year's engineering up as well. Can you win this year? I don't know. I doubt it. Because, as you see, there isn't too many people down here at the moment, and we've still got 100 foot to build. We don't know necessarily how they're going to use last year's engineering. But it wasn't good enough last year. So... We're a complete rebuild from floor up. Right, obviously we're all in costumes and now is a good opportunity to play your characters, please. When I see someone rich, both my thumbs start to itch. Only find some piece of mine, better pick a pocket or two. Every day's another day that takes you even closer to the sky. So give it a try. Every hand that holds a centre. They'll always do that all for me that never let me down. You have got a good stage show. You really have. You've got to believe in it. You've got to get up there and sing all the way up to that clock. It's now up to you guys to go and make it very good. You're, you're an absolutely brilliant club. You're a brilliant bunch of lads and ladies. You should be absolutely proud of yourselves. I'm proud of you. And this is it now. This is your time. It is an award show, and obviously this is the uh, the, fi the final evening uh, where I get to give out all the results at the end of the show tonight. Um, most of the people have all been talking about Ramblers. The word on the street says Ramblers, Ramblers, and Ramblers. Ramblers, yeah. Show with the Ramblers part of the road. Stage, we use it to lay down a marker. We don't do anything to come second. Let's race with the Gremlins Carnival Club.
Romans. Any good? Yeah. Convinced? Only got me on I know you're all tired. I know you've had a great two weeks. One more go at it. Give it everything you've got. You've been bloody good. Be even better. Oh, oh, oh let's go by night up to the highest heights. Let's go fly a kite and send it soaring up through the atmosphere. Up And sixth place this year goes to the Barketeers Carnival Club with Dickensian London. First place this year winning the White Hart Cup. It's the Gremlins Carnival Club with Wasteland 3000. Absolutely brilliant. We're all very, very proud of you. There's been a lot of people who's not been on before who've done absolutely superb, absolutely superb, and you should be so proud of yourselves. I know I am, and I'm sure all your families and friends are. Very, very proud, as I texted you last night in a very inebriated state. <laughs> <laughs> to, to spend my time with you all, to um, help lead and direct you in, in the, the, to the places we want to be and want to go. We've got three weeks to Bridgewater Carnival. We want to try and win Bridgewater Carnival. We want to do our best to do that. So it's now that we need an almighty effort, and it is almighty effort, to get that Carnival car up to the standards that it needs to be to win the Kerr Cup. I believe we can do it, but that only comes from you guys. With you, with your passion, with your energy, we got a bloody good chance. We got to now go and push ourselves to win Bridgewater Carnival. As you can imagine, winning stage, um, oh, we're, we're buzzing, the shed is buzzing. They, they hammered us on costume point, so so they got they got a massive head start on us already. And uh, we're after a double. Last year, when we came fourth, it was our best result for many years on stage. Um, you had that real positive feeling coming into these couple of weeks between concerts and, and cart building, and you could really feel it last year. This year, you haven't quite had that same 
atmosphere, positiveness or whatever. Whether that's as a result of the stage or whether it's because we've been so far behind during the year, um, you don't know. When you read the, um, the judges' comments, I don't fancy our chances. <laughs> What did the judges' comments say? Well, there was a judges' comment on there that love, love the show, love the, love the set, love the costumes, love the makeup, everything, blah, blah, that went with it. What a shame you had to use spray paint to paint the paint set as this was not about in that period. What sort of judging comments are? That? That's irrelevant, isn't it? And they got, and they got, and they got knock marks off the stage set for it. So what am I supposed to do? Put gas on there and paint it all in nine wash? And you think, well, if that judge is judging that, and he's judging the road, we're in a lot of votes. This section, everything goes. Um, there isn't a single bit that doesn't move on it at all. But it's solely reliant on one motor and one cam. Um, which doesn't work at the moment, so it will look absolutely rubbish if it doesn't work. Put these on to start with. Well, I, I didn't go on last year, and I, and I did not enjoy that one little bit. I didn't enjoy watching it. I just can't watch it. I can't. I mean, that's good. I... Worst decision of my life. Didn't feel right. Didn't feel right. feel 10 feet tall, you're, you're, you're not you, do you know what I mean? You're, you're in costume, you're, you've got your, your um, show face on, if you will. Um, there's 150,000 people in Bridgewater who've come to see you perform. Um, they don't know it, do you know what I mean? But, but you know, you know those people are just there to see you. And it's, an, it's, a, it's a feeling that not many people in the world will get. Put the bridge on here, put the handrail, put the lamps. No idea what we're doing here yet. On the bottom, we've got some like barrows for the workhouse boys who are pushing them. Um, and something there on the back of the moving part. That's the plan. This is a long way from being anywhere near finished. Yeah. We don't even know what we're doing here yet. Um, so with less than a week to go, that's a bit concerning. So we got um, a lot, an awful lot to do. Uh, what's the bit that worries you the most? The mechanical at the moment, because it don't work. It's exactly the same as what we've had last year, but we've added. And we've added and added, and added weight, we just won't lift it, won't turn it. Um, yesterday I did 16, and 16 hours here. Um, which is about average, I guess. Some people will be here 24 hours for three or four days. They won't, they won't go home at all, so it's just what we've got to do. Can you describe what it looks like as a car? Busy. Busy. It's just a gremlin car. A few things before I tell you which side you're on. Um, obviously, we've got a long, long week to build and carve a car. It's all right for the top six foot. Yeah, that. The bottom, the bottom 11 foot is a bit worrying. Um, so 11 times 100 times um, 11, again. That's how many cubic feet we've got to build in a week. OK? Um, so over 10,000 cubic feet, I guess what it is, whatever. Um, so we need a really hard week out there, please.
it's been hard. Uh, um, from a personal point of view, because let's say I don't see me, me boy and, and me missus, and from a not professional point of view, but a, a, a ah. carnival point of view, it's been hard because um, well, you can see, and this is just endless. Can't see wood for the trees at the moment, if I'm honest. I've got about two days painting and doing about 12 hours. Really. Just hope that people work hard and fortune you know, is on our side. That's all we can hope for, really. I can see it being a late night for a lot of people. Why do you do this? I don't know. Because I'm an idiot, basically. You can't say there's enjoyment in it. <laughs> and had a decent meal, and had a decent sleep. Had seen my kids. Windsor normally sends some people home if it gets too late. He likes people to come in back fresher tomorrow. Um, and burn themselves out tonight, come out early tomorrow, and then you're knackered for the possession because that ain't gonna help us at all. Once you get to a certain point here and you're tired and you're cold and your brain just stops working, you just sometimes just like staring at it. Nothing gets done, nothing works properly. They could do a bit of grease on it, it's creaking. Jack, get over there and lube it up for him. There Snap. you go. <laughs> Nothing special. Sorry, I'm <laughs> sitting. Yeah. I don't know. Remember? It's there to be beaten though, isn't it? We're getting behind Gremlins, we'll be alright. We think six, seven weeks ago we weren't even talking about contemplating only building 60 foot of it. We think we've excelled ourselves again.
Once again, we punch above our weight. All the way back. Well, that's, yeah, that's the time to go, isn't it? That's as close as it gets. Go down to the arm, down this arm, pick up the block, stay in the back. Gremlin's car, you can tell us Gremlin's car. Can everyone come in? Guys, can everyone come in? <clears throat> if you're on separate vehicles, you're in rival teams. Gesture each other, act it out, okay? Exactly what we did on stage. Girls, bring your sass. Blokes, bring your attitude. Banter each other on the car. Act like you did on the stage. Last year, we walked back here, for those who are on, and we walked in this pub, and for the first time in the history I've been in this cl club, and I'm sure others who've been in here longer will agree, no one congratulated us. We had a great car, we had everything going for us, but somewhere something went wrong. Don't let it be you lot. If something breaks down, if the music don't work, if the lights fail, fine, but don't let it be you lot. When we're on there, we can give it, but don't bounce. You can give it without bouncing it, okay? There's a difference with giving it and being silly, all right? So we need to be very careful. We obviously want the car to work. It's delicate, but it will get through, as it always does, but we need to treat it with the respect it deserves, OK? All of this now is down to us. We can't out-engineer gremlins. We can't out-move them. What we do, what they can, is give it life, give it energy. A carnival car is not about engineering. It's about people. It's about passion. It's what we got. We've got it. The people we've lost, the people who aren't here anymore, their names are on that carnival car. But it's not for them. They're gone. They're the history. It's you. You're the future and you're the present. 
So go on there and make them proud, okay? Remember what you represent. Those names, this club, and that badge. It's an absolute honor to stand here in front of you. It's an absolute honor to lead you. It's an absolute honor to be on that car of you. So I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for everything you've done. I want to thank you all for keeping marketeers going. All I ask you to do now, not for the people we've lost, for you, for the Marketeers Karma Club. Down in one, give some rice, and have a bloody good time, yes? Yay! I've never seen our club captain this rolled up. I think we've got a chance. I think we have got a chance. I've never seen him like this, ever. He knows we've got a chance tonight. That's the most emotion I've seen. We're directly behind them. We give it rice, and everything's moving, and everything's going for it. I think we've got a good chance tonight. There's other captains in this town, that are telling their people they're the best, well, they're lying, right? <laughs> right, they're lying. We're the best, we're the champions, and we're going to bring it back again. Right, now let's go and do it, come on. to the 2018 Bridgewater Guy Fawkes Carnival. We've had a terrific day here in the town centre in the build-up to this evening's fantastic parade. And the stage is all set for two hours of the greatest illuminated parade in Europe in the company of an estimated 150,000 people who have arrived in Bridgewater for tonight's great show. Just coming around the corner is one of the biggest clubs in town with over 120 people involved. It's the Marketeers Carnival Club from Bridgewater entering the local feature with Consider Yourself a Dickensian theme, of course. This is the Gremlins Carnival Club, winners of last year with their entry Highway to Hell.
actually are beatable. When they have a dip in form, to ensure we're not having a dip in form that year, and we're right there to, to take over from them and then push on ourselves. We have beat them. Somebody else beats us. Ramblers or uh, Renegades or someone else. We've come second more than any club in history if you look at the results. The car and the car's not about engineering. It's about people. It's about passion. Thank you. Um, we reckon it's going to be about one-ish before the results, so patience please. So it's all round, it's up. I thought that was excellent. They were lovely and colourful and they were really working well. Um, it's difficult to judge, you know, and us graders are very good. 50-50. It's either Ramblers or Marketeers for me. Um, it's going to be Marketeers or Ramblers, I think. We think Ramblers will win. <laughs> it's quite tight, definitely quite tight. I think in some areas we're a lot better than them, and in some areas they're a lot better than us. I'm not talking anymore. <laughs> And believe it or not, in 10th place, Highway to Hell from the uh, Gremlins. <laughs> Going up to 9th, it's Sing 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 from the YMCA. Must be in 8th now, Surf's Up from the Crusaders. In 7th place, Storm from the Griffins. In 6th place, Voodoo Hack from the British Flag. Uh, in, no, it's in fourth one. Sorry, fourth place anyway. Outlaws Creek from the Lime Kiln Carnival Club. <laughs> so in fourth place was Lime Kiln. In third place, the Vagabonds with Fiesta de la Spora. Winning the Walter Hoover Cup. And in second place, winning the Charlton Cup. You think if you're going to beat Gremlins, you're going to win Carnival. And all we need to hear is the first syllable. Parliament's Parade from the Ramblers. Which puts in first place, winning the Kerr Cup, consider yourself Dickensian, Marketeers Carlo Club.
five years in the making, that was. We had the champions of Bridgewater Carnival, mine. Yeah. Actually, we are the fucking yeah. champions. <laughs> right, did you hear? <laughs> Okay. I've never ever tried so hard to do such a thing in all my life, and that is the thing that I've tried to do in all my life, and I love you for it. I like it. Well done. Ah! Do you know what we are? Got a couple Champions. Of hey. Champions. Champions are champions, and champions again. The problem is, see, see this little town we're in? You have now. We have now. You have now. <laughs> you have now. <laughs> we won it! Oh, oh you won't have The only disappointing thing about it all is that you he's your best mate. We were in Carnival together for a number of years and it was probably one of those that you wish that you could have had that feeling together as such, if you know what I mean? And that's not to say that, you know. There's no regret in what I've done, certainly not. But it would have been nice, wouldn't it?